The fact that you can talk to people uh, who, uh, you know, who have had some impact on your career, kind of listening to how they think, uh, you know, how down to earth they are, uh, is just, um, you know, uh, great. So um, the skill of reading code is, is as important as writing code, I guess, maybe even more. Uh, you're all reading code tonight. And during our uh, professional life, probably most of us are reading code more than writing code. And this trend would probably go uh, even stronger with AI. So um, I'm teaching um, also C++ and um, I, I focus in my exams on, on reading code. I mean. Most of the exam, if not all of it, is reading code. Uh, are, are you ready for exam? Uh, I mean, were you told that you'll get an exam today? So there is an exam. Um, uh, this is the code. Oh, this is the slide, sorry. This is the code. Um, I'll give you two minutes. Um, to uh, The students get more, but you are professional. Um, and and you, you should read it, and, and then we'll ask some questions. Well, you, you will not get two minutes. You, you can understand that. We're in lightning talks, right? right? So uh, let's go through that quite quickly. Uh, there is a function here, a single function, that checks whether a big bucket can be filled into small buckets, right? You, you all know this real, I guess. So the first argument is the big bucket, and then the second one is a vector of the small buckets and an index for the function being recursive. Um, then we check at line three, if the bucket is zero, the big bucket is zero, then we return true as the first argument in the pair is whether we can fill, and the second argument is the actual fill up, which buckets are being used and how, much, how many times. So in the fourth line, we check whether the last bucket is uh, bigger than the big one, right? Which, which means that we assume here that the smaller buckets are sorted in a decreasing order, okay? Uh, then if this is the case, it means that we cannot fill the uh, buckets because the last one is, is too big. Uh, then we continue and there is some recursion there and eventually we want to find out, can we fill? And if we can, what are the um, instructions for the fill up, which are returned at line 15. I think that we, you are ready for the exam. Uh, by the way, the students usually see the code during the semester. I, I mean, they see many snippets, and then in the exam, they are a bit less surprised than you are now, maybe, um, because they see something familiar. Not exactly the, some, the thing that is, they saw during the semester, but something with some um, changes. So this is the first question. Um, what would be the result of Canfield with 12 and four um, calling first on the result. You can shut out. Shut. Uh, uh, so uh, I hear, uh, I think that we can fill 12 with three times four. So the answer should be one for true. Okay, Th this should be the, the, the case. Um, okay, let's, let's take another one. Um, what will be printed now? I want to hear some more answers. Okay, so the answer is zero because uh, the small buckets are not uh, sorted in a decreased order, and the last one is 13, and, and you cannot fill 12 into, with, with 13. We should come up with a uh, decreased order for the small buckets, we didn't. Okay, let's take another one. How many times can fill will be called with these arguments? Now I know that you need the code for that, so let's do it with the code. Um, you have the call underneath, and I'll give you some time. I heard an answer. Those who answer now are those who submit the, the exam 
one hour before all the, the rest? So the answer is four, that's correct. I start another five minutes. Uh, so, um, can ChatGPT answer those questions, right? I, I mean, we are going to use code created by AI. Can AI read the, the, the code? So I, I just, you know, put the code in, into ChatGPT and asked, can you explain the code? And the explanation is quite good. I mean, it explains it much better than I would uh, with only two things that I would amend. First, there is a, a, an error uh, off by one. Uh, uh, it says that it counts down to one, it counts down to zero, and there is an omission in the return value explanation. That's quite good. I mean, we would use things like that. And then I, I asked uh, ChatGPT, uh, can it take the exam? And, and it took it quite well. I mean, uh, maybe he's cheating, maybe he's running the code. So I asked him, are you running the code? He says, no, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and then I asked him another question, the second one, he didn't do quite well, but he, he, he changed his mind. So he says, I will, uh, uh, the output will be true. And then at the end he says, no, that would be, would be false. Can you, can you make your mind? But uh, anyhow, the explanation is wrong here. And the last one was, was pretty good. To summarize, uh, there are no summaries. It's a lightning talk. <laughs> Thank you.